Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimonies.com and today we're going to take a look at the We Are Memory Keepers Trim and Scoreboard. It's a two-in-one tool supposed to save you time, energy, and money. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look at the We Are Memory Keepers Trim and Score Board. So what this tool is supposed to do is replace having both a trimmer and a scoring tool. And um, actually I'm always impressed with We Are Memory Keepers. They have great designs and tools. So the first thing we're going to notice is that you have your cutting lever here. So This moves up and down so that you can secure your paper underneath. and right here you'll see um, a little magnets. So these magnets are going to keep your paper secure um, by allowing this to kind of snap down and stay in place. There's a little place here for onboard storage of your bone folder, which of course isn't made out of bone anymore. It's a plastic folder, but that's okay. It sits right here, and then you've got this little flap-a-doodle. And the question is, well, what does this flap do? Well, let me show you. So if you're going to use this as a trimming board, first of all, you'll notice that there are scoring or um, measurement lines across the top, and there are measurement lines on the bottom. These seem to be the metrics. But I am able to open up the board all the way so that it is a full 12 by 12 um, cutting surface. And if you want to keep this on your table, you can lock it by using these little levers in the back like so. So now it'll stay nice and solid if you you know want to keep it open all the time. So that way I can bring my piece of paper over, lift up the little arm, which by the way it tugs a little bit but that's because of those magnets I showed you. I can line it up and give it a little trim which is perfect. Um, by the way this is kind of a medium weight cardstock, it's not super heavy and uh, it trims very nicely. Now, if I wanted to score, um, you notice if you put it all the way over to the edge here, uh, it wouldn't actually give you an accurate measurement. So what you're gonna do is open up the trimming arm, which by the way, there's a little caution. It says, caution, exposed blade, it's right here. Now you're gonna flip this down. And now you've got a little guardrail for your paper so that if you want to score, it will give you an accurate scoring measurement. So I'm gonna go ahead, butt it up against there, and just score it at four inches. And now I'm all set and ready to go. And if I would wanna go ahead and cut, again, you flip this part back open, flap that part back down, and I'm back in business with the trimming. And you see there, I just cut two um, thicknesses of the paper and it did a very nice job. So it's such an ingenious tool. I actually love the fact that you can flip it back up and uh, just use it on your tabletop in the half position. A lot of what I do is card making and so I only need five and a half inches. That's going to give me enough cutting measurement and enough scoring measurement that it takes up a nice small footprint. Let's talk a moment about the blade. So this is a, a titanium blade and it slides along a plastic trap, um, which for me is odd. pretty cool, except I think I just in using it today, I've already started to maybe um, chop up the actual cutting blade. You can see this here. Let me see if I can get in a little bit closer. You can see here how it, it's already discolored. That's because I've actually cut into the plastic a little bit. Um, sometimes I was a little heavy handed with the way I was pulling the blade down and um, I've chewed it up a little bit. So that's something to be aware of. Now, if you want to change your blade, it's actually really simple. This just pulls, if you just pull it apart slightly, the um, blade will pop out. There we go. Just like so. And then you can put a new one in. So I don't know how long these are, these last, you know, probably depends on what you're cutting. Um, they're supposed to last a long time. Let's just pop the new one in. Um, just checking. There's a little bit of catching in certain places um, along the plastic track. And uh, that might be, you know, something just to be aware of. 
Um, now, the question is what will it cut? So I've spent a lot of time today just cutting cardstock and text weight paper and it cuts very nicely. Um, sometimes, like I said, I have a tendency to be a little heavy handed and I will actually cause it to warp ever so slightly. You can kind of see a little bit of that warping here at the end points of the car, um, car this is like cereal box cardboard that I cut. So just to be aware of that, but it didn't um, light items like vellum just beautifully. I had no problems with that at all. Here you can see a little bit of that, just a, just an iota of fish tailing. And I'm kind of a perfectionist, but like this square edge is not as, this is not as square. You see how it's just a little bit off. Um, so I'm going to check with my technique and try maybe standing and see if that gives me some better leverage. It For me, it's always at the bottom of the slide, so um, I'm just going to play with that a little bit because I am definitely kind of pulling a little bit. I tried something heavy duty like Rolex film. It would not cut this plastic at all. And I tried some of the cork paper and it would not cut it. It went through almost to the back so that you could actually now technically rip it, um, but just be aware that the blade only goes out so far and so therefore it will not cut super thick items. This is billed as a paper trimmer and indeed it trims paper. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up or even better yet, subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the videos as soon as they come out, not just when they hit the blog posts. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.